Hey everyone, welcome to the first video in the intro to C++ series. I noticed there was a lot of interest around some of the malware development stuff, but some of you guys aren't as familiar with C++ as you might be with some other languages. So I just thought we would put together this quick series just to go over the basics of C++ and get you guys ready to start building your own malware. So to start off this video, I've just gone and downloaded and installed Visual Studio. You can get uh, your own copy of Visual Studio from visualstudio.microsoft.com. I went ahead and ran through the install. If I go to modify here, uh, you can see that I installed desktop development with C++. That is a checkbox down here. Just check that box and install it. It should be about 10 gigabytes. It'll take a few minutes to install, but then Visual Studio will start up. And that is where we're at right now. So what I want to do is just kind of walk you guys through how I set up my dev environment and just run an example program just to make sure that everything's working as we expect and then we can move on to the next video. So just to get started, you can if you want to, if you already have an account, you can sign in. You can also create an account or you can skip. If you, uh, if you create an account, then you can synchronize across different devices and stuff. There are some benefits to it, but for now I'm just going to skip. And I always choose dark theme, just my preference, but feel free to f choose whatever theme that you, that fits you the best. Once we get uh, our environment set up, I will change the theme just to show you the theme that I actually use in my other videos. Okay, so at this screen over on the left hand side where my mouse is you'll usually see your recent projects that you've had open since we this is a new installation we don't have any new or recent projects to show or click on over on the right we have create new project open a little cool folder open a project or solution or clone a repository if you have a, a git repository you can just clone directly out of it or you can clone one that already exists mine for example um, you can also open a folder if you have a folder that has like several projects in it you can open that to start there uh, for us though we're just gonna create a new project before I go any further though I just want to let you guys know that I recently created a discord channel for everybody to join and just like share uh, what they have going on and talk about uh, any challenges or, or whatever they may be facing in their dev cycle or role. Um, also a part of that, what I want to do is kind of add some challenges that you guys can do. Uh, and I'll add the challenges at the end of the video or mid midway through the video uh, for you guys to do. And I'll feature some of those challenges or some of those entries on the next video. So just keep an eye out and be ready for that challenge. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new project. And for this project, we're going to just do an empty C++ project. If it's if it doesn't pop up here, just click up here, type C++, wait for it, it should come up. It'll be one of the first ones that, that come up. So we'll next through that. Now we'll name our project. Um, for this project, we can call this, so the solution name is the overall name of m multiple projects. So you can have a, one solution that has multiple projects inside of it. So for our solution, we'll call this uh, C++ series. And our project will be called intro. So this will be their, our intro to the C++ series. And we will create that. Okay, when you first load in, you'll get this what's new. Uh, feel free to just, you can read through all of this if you're interested or just close out of it. So now we are at the screen. This is what standard Visual Studio looks like as soon as you install. I'll show you how I have my Visual Studio set up. So what I normally do is I will just grab this right here. You grab at the very top of the toolbar, drag it all the way over to the left and you can click it in right on this uh, this indicator here 
click that there and then I will unpin so that it drops over I can click it I can click off and it'll it'll hide itself that way I, it's out of the way when I'm not using it I will also go up to uh, view and over in view I will hit terminal and this will just bring up a developer PowerShell terminal down at the bottom you can drop this down change it to command prompt if you want um, but I will unpin this over here so it'll drop down and it, the window will hide itself that way when I want to use PowerShell I pop this up and I'm already in my uh, my solution directory so really convenient okay so we have our solution Explorer over here we have our PowerShell down here and let's go ahead and pop over into Solution Explorer, right click on Source Files, do Add, and we'll add a new item. Let's just add main.cpp. We will add that file. And we are going to type int main. Turn zero, and that will be it. Okay. So int main returns zero, and we will hop up here to build, and we can hit either build intro or build solution. Either one works. Intro will build just this project. Solution will build your uh, every every project in your solution. So we'll give this just a second to build. And you can see here we got uh, succeeded. And right above that we have the path to our executable, intro.exe. So if we drop down to developer PowerShell and we do a dir or an ls, we have a folder named x64. We can cd into x64. And since we compiled this, uh, and debug up at the top you can see we could have picked debug or release we did compile in debug so we'll have a debug folder go into debug and inside of this folder we'll have intro.exe to run that just do a dot slash intro.exe run it we don't have anything uh, going on in our application but we know that everything's working correctly because we didn't throw any exceptions when running and um, when we compiled over on output here uh, it built successfully so we're in a good spot so we'll uh, click back in here and now let's finish setting up this view since we have some code here we can set this up make this look how we want it to look so what I do is I head up to extensions and go into manage extensions and the theme that I use is called Dracula so search for Dracula download this uh, it, it will not install until you close out of Visual Studio so I'll go ahead and close out of Visual Studio real quick close out of the installer as well and you'll get this VSIX installer. We'll give this just a second to run. Go ahead and force in those tasks. Okay, it just finished up. So we'll close this, head down here and open up Visual Studio. I'll just search for it. 
maybe if I can type Visual Studio. And now we have a recent project. So let's go ahead and open up our C++ series solution. And we will head up to tools, go to options, and right here on color theme, drop this down and select Dracula. And there we go. Now we have the theme that I use. And I usually bump this up to like 150 or 200. That's just for you guys so that you, you can see better on the video. I actually prefer it to be small when I'm actually, co or smaller when I'm actually coding. I can just see more of the, the overall program. But if it's, uh, if it's too overwhelming, you can also, you know, just uh, zoom it way in like this and you, you have a smaller context of the program easier to focus on a single area okay so for the um, for the challenge for this video I want you to all go and try to add to this this main program to print out to console so when you run it here in PowerShell I want it to print out your Discord username. I will be looking for those in Discord and I will feature some of those in the next video. Thank you. Talk to y'all later.